Um, the next one, which is interesting that this is a positive because it's one that we talked about the negatives is we're having, <laughs> we're having kids later or not at all. <clears throat> and the thing here they were saying across Europe, and this was more on a Europe one, birth rates are falling, which is alarming economists. However, <clears throat> it's also a sign that millennials more than ever are thinking seriously about whether they, whether or not they want to start a family and are doing what's right for them instead of following an established path. Yeah. I mean, again, oh, that's interesting that like now this is seen in a, in a positive mm. list. Um, but yeah, like we said, it's, you could look at it in two ways. Yeah. You could look at it in a positive way and a negative way. I think there are both elements involved as to why, uh, we are choosing to have kids later or not have kids at all. Yeah. Like for example, in, in South Korea, I keep talking about South Korea, but that's because I'm from there. Yeah. And um, it's very interesting because South Korean birth rates are, I think, the lowest now in OECD countries. It's actually a big problem there. Yeah. So before it was, I think Japan used to be the lowest. Yeah, I remember always um, hearing about Japan but now, being low. Yeah. And Japan and Korea are both very, very low. And I think Korea has now surpassed it, which is crazy. And that's not really a positive thing. It's because people don't have enough money to yeah. raise kids. And because now the cost of having kids is very, very expensive. The cost of education, cost of all of those things has gone up. Cost of living just generally yeah. has gone up. So people are not having kids. No, so that that's negative. Mm. But again, in terms of us, like in terms of you, you and I yeah. and the privilege that we have, like I think for us, it's more of a positive yeah. because we have this option. That's true. And I, I guess this is, the, mm -hmm. again, you're right. This is the hard thing about like generalizing a generation as well because within the millennials, we, yeah. all, we all have different experiences, right? So you're right. Someone, yeah, and we're living in different countries and people that live in Europe have different experiences to people that live in Asia exactly. or Africa or anywhere else exactly. in the world. So I'm mean, mm -hmm. yeah, interesting, interesting points. But I think it's good because both of us have lived in different countries and different continents, yeah. and um, uh, we come from different backgrounds. Like you, you know, you come from um, originally England, but you, you know, we're both raised in Canada, but yeah. I come from Korean background. So I think it's interesting for us to talk about it in different in different aspects. Exactly. No, for sure.